and welcome to another Ryan Sports Views, where tonight I am previewing and predicting Super Bowl 55, the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Kansas City Chiefs here defending Super Bowl champions and AFC champions for the second year in a row. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the NFC champions... From no playoffs to NFC champions in one year? Why Tom Brady? But you get that. So, let's talk about this game. I will predict it. And tomorrow, I'll review it after it's over. But let's talk about it. For me, this will be a very close game. I don't think either team is going to get blown out. Now, I'd love to see the Buccaneers somehow blow out the Chiefs. I know it's not going to happen. I know this game is going to be a heart wrencher like every other Tom Brady Super Bowl, whether he loses or wins. It's always a heart wrencher, except, well, 13 to 3. But, you know, even then there were some tense moments. But this one's going to be a heart wrencher through and through. Like always, I'm used to it. I'm glad last year's Super Bowl was something I really didn't care about, per se. It wasn't my team's. So, not a heart wrencher. But, Still was fun. It wasn't bad, but you get my point. But I think the game's going to be close. I think it's going to be a heart wrencher. I think it's going to be a fun one. And I do think both teams are going to look very good, have a shot at winning. They're both going to have a shot at the end. It's going to come down to the last drive. Whoever has the ball last and capitalizes, it's going to come down to that. It's going to come down to Tom Brady having one of his classic two-minute drills or Patrick Mahomes having a great drive to top off a game. It's going to be close. Hell, it could end in overtime. I don't know. I wouldn't be shocked. The last time Tom Brady beat Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs, guess what? Went to overtime. Wouldn't be shocked. But if Tom Brady gets to overtime and he has the ball first, it's like taking candy from a baby, as you've seen before. You don't want to see Tom Brady when everything is on the line. Like, seriously. When there's one drive to decide a game, you don't want to see him. Because, as in, like the other team, not me. I love what he does on a final drive. They're always great. Two minutes left and a half, he has the ball. You know he's going to score at least three points. You know he's going to get them at least a field goal. Like, I have... Not seen it much where they don't score on a last Brady drive, especially when they need the points. It is what it is. Because Tom Brady does what he does. Patrick Mahomes is pretty good at that too. But the thing about the Chiefs is you don't want to get ahead too early, far ahead too early, because you're not going to keep that lead. You're not going to keep that lead. You get ahead 10 points before the half, you're going to get curb stomped in the second. It's happened to a lot of people. Ask the Bills. Hell, earlier, ask the Texans. Ask the Titans. If you get ahead of the Chiefs, they are going to whip you once they have a chance to get back into it. Oh, ask the 49ers. You can't get ahead too quickly. It's better to keep it tight. Three points, sure, but you get them pissed off. You get too far ahead, they get pissed off. And it's like, there you go. They'll have a comeback. And I'm not saying it's not a game, and it's not the way they play, but seriously, it's like, they're okay until you go like 10, 14 ahead, and then it's like, oh. Especially around the end of the half. It's like, oh, you're, you're that far ahead? time to kick on the afterburners it's like a car it's like a top line muscle car it's like a ferrari it's like okay we can go from zero to 60 and 3.5 but we'll take that 3.5 a little bit stretch it you know because sometimes you just want to cruise you know until it really matters and you hit the gas and just boom zoom it's exactly what the Chiefs do. They start cruising. They, they pull out, back out, get into the lane. They cruise. Then they see you zoom ahead like you're in Fast and Furious. And they're like, bet, speed racer, boom. And then just freaking take you out, run you off the road, and just keep going. 
That's what they do. That's exactly what they do. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's the Chiefs. Now, both quarterbacks are going to be great. Both offenses are going to be great. Brady, Mahomes, going to have a great game, both of them. I don't think Brady's going to throw another three interceptions. I don't think Mahomes is going to screw up. It's going to be close. Gronk, Brait, Brown, Godwin, Evans, Scotty Miller, all those guys are going to have good games. And the Chiefs, Tyreek Hill, Mecole Hardman, Edwards Hilaire. There you go. Those guys are going to have good games too. Travis Kelsey, let's not forget him, have a good game. The offensive line for the Chiefs is the really big problem for me. If they cannot keep Mahomes safe, the Buccaneers defense will have a better game. And I know the Bucs defense is good. They're better. They're getting hot at the right time. They weren't good against the football team, the Washington football team. They were great against the Saints. They were great against the Packers. They're good. Sean Murphy Bunting will be there. Sounds like Antoine Winfield Jr. will be there. Vita Veo will be back on the defensive line longer for than 20 snaps, which is exactly what they need. You get a lot of that pressure with Vita Veo, Levante David, Ndamukong Sue. That Chiefs offensive line is shot. The Bucks defense is better than the Chiefs defense. Brady, he's beat the Chiefs defense before. They kept it close down in Tampa. They almost came back. I think they'll be better. And I think they'll... You're not going to be able to contain Tyreek Hill, but at least, like, bubble him. You have to make Sammy Watkins work to have a chance. That's what they're going to have to do. Bubble Tyreek Hill. Bubble me, Cole Hardman. You have to have Sammy Watkins work. You have to hear, him, hear his name said at least 10 times. If he burns you, you lose. If he... You hear his name 10 times and he does nothing, you probably won the game, at least by three. You have to minimize the risk. Now, for me, how are they going to do that? Well, maybe Sean Murphy Bunting and Antoine Winfield Jr. are both on Tyreek Hill. You have to put one safety on Miko Hardman, but I think they can handle that. Put a safety, put a DB on Miko Hardman, put a safety on Sammy Watkins and watch Travis Kelsey down the middle. And if you're going to have to have Patrick throw, Patrick Mahomes throw, keep it short passes to Kelsey and just cover him, get to him quickly. Like have Levante David drop back in or Devin White drop back in and just like, boom. That's me. That's what I think. But, hey, the Bucks have a good defense. I believe they could hold at least enough this time. They're better than what they were back in the regular season. I think they're not going to let themselves get embarrassed like they did. And hell, it was really just the first quarter against them back in the regular season. I don't think they will. They're better. Patrick Mahomes and the B the Bucks defensive line can get through the offensive line more this time. I think Patrick Mahomes will get hit. He will get pressured. And I do think that's one of his kryptonite. It's kind of like Brady. You get pressure to him, he gets scared, but a lot more scared than Brady does. You get pressure to him, there you go. The Raiders did it. They beat him. The one legitimate loss the Chiefs have this year, because week 17 is not legitimate, shut up. They rested Mahomes, shut up, it's not legitimate. We all agree, right? Okay. The one legitimate loss the Chiefs have this year was when the Raiders, who are not as much of a good team as the Bucks. Rush the hell out of the Chiefs with their healthy offensive line. M Mahomes was had no answer that game. Okay, do it again with a less healthy offensive line. We'll see what happens, but I like our chances. I like the Bucks' chances. You know I'm a Bucks fan. You see the jerseys. You know Brady, all that. I like their chances. Point being is, is the defense is the X factor. Brady will do his job, but the defense is the X factor if the Bucs are to win. If they don't play well, it's the Chiefs. If the Bucks defense show out, the Bucs win. Now, will Brady still win MVP if the Buccaneers win? Yes, because that's the way this stuff goes. Now, the last time the Bucs won the Super Bowl, it was a defensive player who won MVP. But Brad Johnson is no Tom Brady. 
Of course he's not. I'm just saying. Hell, Brad Johnson is no Jameis Winston, for that matter. But whatever. Point being is Tom Brady would probably still win MVP if the Bucks win. And hell, if the Chiefs win, it's probably going to be Mahomes. But that's the way these things go. You normally defer to the quarterback. Like, I don't see it much where they haven't, except two Patriots Super Bowls when one of them was Dion Branch and the other was Julian Edelman. The two last of the three in the two three runs the Patriots had. The third one of each was a wide receiver. <laughs> Branch and Edelman, which I like both those players. That's not a question. I'm just saying. There you go. So my prediction for this game, Chiefs 34. No, not Chiefs 34. What? No. Sorry. Bucks 34, Chiefs 28. I almost screwed that up. Honestly, no. I could see this being like, 38 to 34 though let's be honest but the Bucks are gonna win I almost screwed up the Chiefs are the first name on the freaking because they're the away team I almost I was thinking of it like that no 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 let me rephrase this just so if you missed it I'm not putting this through splice I'm not editing this damn thing deal with it deal with it I'm not editing it Deal with it. For two seconds, I'm not editing it. Deal with it. Buccaneers, 34. Chiefs, 28. There you go. 62 points. It goes over. There you go. There's my prediction. Tampa Bay wins. But really, I've said that for 11 minutes now, 12 minutes now. So really, you know I made a mistake, right? Good. Or almost made a mistake, but caught myself. Even though the g game could end 38-34 for the Bucks anyway. It could. I'm saying 34-28 though. Bucks. So there you go. If you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends tomorrow I will review the Super Bowl. There you go. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace.